Uh, I'm Michael. I'm uh, currently on Corona Monster Lockdown in Denver, Colorado in the U.S. And um, I created this video to demonstrate a simple procedure that um, anyone can do with easily available materials to apply copper nanoparticles to personal protective equipment like masks and gloves in the hopes that it would uh, improve their antimicrobial properties. So why would you want to do this? Well, copper is biostatic, meaning that in contact it kills viruses and bacteria. And this is nothing new. This has been known since ancient times and modern testing has confirmed this. Um, copper alloys, in fact, are EPA approved antimicrobial materials with public health benefits. So does it work? Well, that would require lab testing and you probably send me in the lab some money beforehand. But it stands to reason that uh, copper coated PPE might uh, be more reusable and last longer. In any rate, I don't believe it's harmful. It's all natural and <laughs> gluten free. So, uh, and it's cheap and easy. So um, feel free to give it a try. You can share this video with anyone. All of my uh, references are uh, in the description below. Good luck, stay safe. To make our copper nanoparticles, we're gonna be chemically reducing a copper salt using a reducing agent. Uh, any copper salt should do. I'm using copper sulfate, which is commonly sold as uh, pottery glazing, and ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C. So what we do is we dissolve 30 grams of uh, the copper sulfate into 100 milliliters of hot water, and then 20 grams of the vitamin C also into 100 milliliters of hot water, and then continue stirring thoroughly. Now, you don't have to use lab equipment to do this. You can use ordinary jars or cups, uh, tap water, a stove if you need, for, need it for heating. And um, just keep stirring both solutions until everything is fully dissolved. Once the, uh, all, all the solids are dissolved, we're going to combine the two solutions, so pour the uh, copper sulfate solution into the ascorbic acid solution. This will cause the liquid to immediately turn to a kind of greenish brown color and continue stirring thoroughly. After a while you'll start to see uh, the solid copper uh, settle at the bottom of the container. It's kind of a salmon colored powdery looking substance and the liquid part will continue to get lighter. When the reaction is complete um, all the copper will have formed a solid layer at the bottom and the liquid will have turned to a emerald green kind of color that's translucent. Next we need to uh, decant the liquid from the copper uh, particles. So try to pour off as much of the liquid as you can into another container, being careful not to uh, get any of the copper to spill over. And then when you're done decanting off the liquid, immediately cover the copper with uh, a fresh layer of water. This will prevent the copper from oxidizing, which would render it useless. And there you go, copper nanoparticles. Ta-da!
So I'm going to uh, apply the uh, copper to a face mask using a simple paintbrush. Um, you can simply paint them on by dipping the uh, paintbrush in the uh, solution or the suspension and brushing them on to the uh, material. Make sure that the copper adheres to the brush uh, before painting it on, otherwise you'll just be painting water on. And then just continue doing this until uh, the entire uh, surface is covered on the outside. Now this could probably be improved. Um, maybe it could be sprayed on um, in an aerosol suspension with a volatile solvent. Um, also, I don't know how thick to make it, but uh, again, this would require testing. If you're not going to use the uh, PVE right away, uh, I recommend storing it in an airtight container because otherwise, again, the copper will oxidize.